I don't understand this point. Khalistan stands for Sikhs being free to practice their religion in their own land. Khalistan stands for um, Sikhs being able to live freely wherever they are, in especially in their own land. Obviously, I'm in favor of that. Up at the Roj Kare Khasa Raj Hove, Roj Raj Kare 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 Raj Kare Kare Khasa. So, obviously, I'm in favor of Sikhs having sovereignty. And we all know on top of that, the Punjabis are not free in Punjab. We know that Pai Jaspal Singh was made Shaheed only two years ago. We know that the Sikhs in India are still in jail. We know there's inequality, there's injustice going on right now. For me, the real Khalsa, the real Khalistan is only going to come when we have loads of Khalsa. And that's what we're doing. We're trying our best with Guru Kirpa to do prachar of the Khalsa Maryada, of what is Sikhi, what is Guru's Rehat, what is Guru's Khalsa. And we're creating Khalsa with Maharaj Kirpa. Now, a true Khalistani will try and create more Khalsa, right? Because that is what is going to give us the freedom that we need. So we're actually doing that. Going to India is very dangerous, right? If you are a true Khalistani. For the last 10 years, I haven't even been to India. Yeah. Why is that? I'm not going to put myself in the hands of the enemy. The government of India has, at this, has for the last 30 odd years, been basically at war against a Sikh idea of sovereignty. That's why I don't go to India. Because I don't want them to stop what we're doing, the real battle, which is to create Khalsa. Wake up the youth all across the world to what their real heritage is. I made a comment that in my view, the borders of, of, of Khalistan should be much bigger. And look, one person says that the one person is in Punjab, he will give it to him. The other person says that the one person is in Punjab, he will give it to him. The other person says that Everybody has got different views about the borders of Khalistan. The age of the agreement is that we are only one thing. कि जरा खालिस्तान का बॉर्डर होवे उस तो भी बड़ा होवे तो देखो जे बंदा कहवे कि आई वांट अ स्मॉल खालिस्तान ओन तुसी कह सके कि ही इज अ स्मॉल खालिस्तानी पर इफ समबडी वांट्स अ बिग खालिस्तान देन ऑब्वियसली फॉर माय बायोलॉजी दैट पर्सन इज अ बिग खालिस्तानी या एंड इन दैट वे इफ हम लाइक माय सेल्फ सिट्स हियर एंड सेस यू नो व्हाट वी शुड हैव कास्ट अ राज ओवर द होल ऑफ इंडिया वी शुड हैव टू मेक खालिस्तान ऑल ओवर द होल ऑफ इंडिया देन आई एम हार्डली गोइंग टू बी एंटी व्हाट इज नीडेड या व्हिच इज टू मेक खालसे एजुकेट आवर यूथ एंड स्टार्ट स्टेपिंग अप start doing projects start freeing punjab from the uh, from this economic slavery from political slavery empowering the punjabis this is what's going to take to get ourselves the freedom that we de- that what we deserve and that's exactly what we're doing we're not here um, to speak against the pump one point about khalistan who do you think the indian government is more scared of yeah the other two parties okay with the current manifestos or right youth movement taking all over the world to revitalize our gurdwara of course they're more worried about this one they're watching this right now so to see aap soch lo yeah people that have got contacts and businesses in india are they already going to rock the boat to risk losing all the political contacts that they have in india all the people that they go and visit every year aap to jaan nahi we ain't got to worry about what we say we can say what we like about it, about india we can tell the truth even the leaf that i made for 1984 we just speak the truth about what happened yeah you know whatever we do we try and do something rather than just say something asi kam karna chahunde hai ki asi yani ki bhi nare chhad ke te kar aage we definitely believe in six sovereignty the six should be sovereign is our god given right is our guru given right it's also the united nations charter says the same thing that wherever a nation feels that it is being subjugated against its will it has a right to sovereignty and we always believe in that for the khalsa one thing we must know is that when the sikhs in the west start to have chardi kala when we start to have sikhs in power in press in politics in media in various different things this is when sikhi who flourish here and also sikhs will have some political clout in india so we are doing exactly that the mission that we're doing right now is to educate and empower the youth abroad bring chardi kala into gurdware into the pant and therefore we can then help to free our brothers and uh, bring chardi kala back into the pant in punjab many many mahapurush have said the same thing that khalsa will step up in the west and then it will go back to india and help the people in india and punjab so obviously we're trying to do that chardi kala of the west so hon sar sagi ji if we're trying to do and many people have said this is exactly what's going to happen and you can see it's working then why would someone step up and speak against us me personally i think this is people who are trying to be political they want to discredit something which they feel actually might be doing the hard work okay and the long term work this is what we doing we're not doing the short term the nare chhad ke kar aage apa oh kaam kar rahe hai ye lambi nazar te hai ga ki jeri si load hai ki ye ki jeri sikh west ch hai ga 
ਬੇਸ਼ੱਕ ਉਹ ਗੋਰੇ ਹੋਣ ਉਹ ਕਾਲੇ ਹੋਣ ਉਹ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਹੋਣ ਉਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਖੜੇ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਤਾਕਤਵਾਨ ਹੋਣ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਕੁਝ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨ ਪੰਥ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਯੰਗ ਸਿਕਸ ਥੈਟ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਟੂਡੇ